here's an EV you probably haven't seen in person yet. I ran into this pre-production canoe while an engineer was charging it at the Denton, Texas Electrify America station outside of Fort Worth. It's probably best described as a reinvention of the minivan. Although, at this point, Canoe seems to be targeting fleet operators more than families. What you're looking at is the Canoe lifestyle vehicle, which according to Canoe's website is due to launch in late 2022. What makes this minivan special outside the fact it's an EV is its visibility. Unlike probably every other current production vehicle, the Canoe gives you an almost entirely unobstructed view ahead thanks to a glass window where the dashboard and hood of most cars would be, which Canoe appropriately calls its street view window. The engineer driving the Canoe told me one of the things they heard from professional drivers is they wanted a vehicle with no blind spots up front, which the Canoe delivers, making it easy to see pedestrians and judge front end distances. While the Canoe engineer I spoke with was very knowledgeable and friendly, he was not allowed to do an official on-camera interview. But Canoe did give him permission to give me a quick interior tour and a brief ride. Please keep in mind, what you are seeing is a pre-production vehicle, so it's still being refined and tweaked. Run me through it if you would. Lights and brightness, like headlights on, headlights off, you have automatic high beams, fog lamps, interior lights, pegboard lights, you have different color options. Climate, airflow intensity, cabin protection, you have Bluetooth, you have Wi-Fi, here is the music, uh, here is phone. Android Auto and uh, Apple CarPlay? Uh, right now, no, but in future, yes. But you can connect to Bluetooth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, the future plan is to have it, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. While many of the controls are located within the touchscreen, there are also separate dual zone climate controls in the center of the dashboard strip. So this is like AC, this is the rear AC, and then you can like sync here. So. By the way, that flicker you see in the speed indicator, it was caused by my camera. It is perfectly solid and legible to the human eye. The Canoe Lifestyle Vehicle currently carries a base price of $34,750. The base version has up to 250 miles of range from its 80 kilowatt hour battery and is available with up to 350 horsepower. At launch, it will be powered by a rear wheel drive motor. Canoe says it will go to 20 to 80 percent of charge in 28 minutes on a DC fast charger, although I haven't seen any reports on what the peak charging speed will be. It also comes with redundant drive-by-wire steering and 12 airbags. The pre-production version I got a ride in was outfitted like a premium edition would be, with the panoramic glass roof and wraparound seating for seven. The wraparound seating almost makes it feel a bit like a lounging room on wheels. While Canoe Corporate declined an on-camera interview request, the startup did provide me with some additional video. The lifestyle vehicle's styling reminds me of the original VW Microbus in that it's a groundbreaking design in the sense that it probably has better visibility than any current minivan or fleet vehicle in production. Canoe has well over 16,000 worth of orders from Walmart, Zeba, and Kingby for its vehicles. The U.S. Army is also looking at its multi-purpose platform. After expressing doubt it could financially make it to production in its first quarter 2022 earnings report, things are looking up. In its second quarter results, Canoe announced over $1 billion in its sales pipeline. For those of you that would like the financial details, you'll find links to Canoe's first and second quarter reports in the post at evrider.tv. At the time of this video's recording, third quarter results weren't available yet. In addition to the variations of its lifestyle vehicle, Canoe is also working on a pickup truck with available all-wheel drive and a more squared-off multi-purpose delivery vehicle called the MPDV. I can't judge an automaker's chances or long-term survival, the vehicle's driving dynamics, or its build quality by a short ride around a parking lot. But what I can say is, 
the canoe makes a great first impression. Its closest competitor is likely Volkswagen's reinvention of the microbus, the ID Buzz EV, which isn't expected to debut in the U.S. until sometime in 2023 as a 2024 model. However, the ID Buzz is a bigger, more traditional minivan meaning the canoe might just be first out of the gate with a nimbler EV solution. If canoe can make it through the ramp up stage and really deliver a base model EV minivan for under $40,000, it may have a bright future ahead. If you've enjoyed this episode of EV Rider, please give it a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel.